VR video tutorial on box plots in R part 4. More on side by side box plots. This is part of Statistics 321 at Virginia Commonwealth University, but anybody can use it. All right, so uh, this time I'm back where I was in part three uh, because I had to take the data and turn it from a wide file to a long file. And I wanted just to leave it like this so we can do one other little trick with these pictures to really help us be able to make other interesting pictures. Okay, so we've read in the data, which is over here in my environment. We've turned it from wide to long. We've changed the names. And we've created these box plots that we did before. Now, one thing that's really fun with this is I can actually change a bit of information about these box plots. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and just copy and paste this last box plot that I had. And what I'd like to do is not just have it go by treatment, but go and have by treatment and gender. That way I can look and see if the treatments and the genders interact with each other. So that's really a neat way to look at things. So all I have to do is copy and paste what I had before. And then here I'm going to put in the multiplication symbol, CPK stack. And then I'm going to put in dollar sign and gender. And when I run this, I'm going to leave the colors the same, everything else the same. And then we'll see what we get. And it's pretty interesting. So we run it, and you immediately notice that we have a whole lot more boxes than we did in the last video. So here we have high for females. Notice we have a dot outside, which would mean that's an outlier because it lies outside the fences. I have low for female. I have medium for female, none for female. And then I have high for males. And I can compare high for males with high for females directly together. I can calculate or look at these directly together. And that's what makes this so powerful, being able to look at it by gender. So notice that it has H and then dot F, L dot F, M dot F, N dot F. So all the females are right here and all the male information is right here. And it allows us a way to visualize what's going on, uh, not just across one dimension like treatment or the other dimension gender. We can see how treatment and gender work together to produce even more uh, stunning results. All right, so this has been the end of this tutorial because it's rather short, but it's a rather a neat thing to be able to do. All right, move on to the next video.